my guys and shout out to you you know who you are um he hit me up last night at 9 35 p.m uh and he said malik harrison got shot in the leg and when i saw that i'm like whoa that's that's very random but he didn't have any reason to like make the story up like especially something like that um and i was like oh but he was like but he he's, he's okay though he's, he's good I'm like, oh, okay, all right, well, well that's, that's good. Cause that's obviously the most important thing. And then Ravens, they, they dropped a statement today about it. And that's like, and let's just read this statement uh, word for word. It says, on Sunday night, while attending a gathering in Cleveland, Malik Harrison sustained a non-life-threatening injury after being struck by a stray bullet in the left calf. Malik, who received medical care at a local hospital, has been in touch with our team doctors and will return to Baltimore today. Um, and that, that that sucks for Malik Harrison. And, and first and foremost, like this is this is way past football. This ain't got nothing to do with football. We ain't worried about the football part right now. But for Malik Harrison, um, it's it's a good thing that this situation uh, isn't a lot worse than what it could have been. Because it could have been really, 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 really bad. Could it could have been terrible, and it still is terrible. But it's not as terrible as it could have been. And um, you hate you hate thinking about the what ifs. Like in football, we hate thinking about the what ifs. Oh, what if this? What if that? But with this, you have no choice but to think about the what ifs, because what if it was worse? But again, I know Malik Harrison is super happy that it wasn't his family, his friends, just everybody. We all super happy that it wasn't too, because um, this just is bad. And and straight bullets, they ain't got no name on them. They ain't got no name on them. So that is one of those situations where it's uh, wrong place, wrong time. And that's it. Wrong place, wrong time. Um, this is just, uh, like I said, it's a really unfortunate situation, man. People, are, people can be very disgusting, um, just period. And, and even though it wasn't intended for him, uh, it's just the fact that it happened. And obviously, it's another situation going on in that area with, with other people. Who, who knows what it was for? But it's just, it, it's sad, man. It's very sad. The, the condition of this world is very, very sad. And that's why I think it's very, very important uh, to really just try to uh, spread positivity to people. I think it's really important to just try to um, be as happy as you possibly can. Uh, it's really important to um, just try to do right by people. It's just super important. It's very important to um, to really understand that you never know what somebody's going through. So, and it can be hard. I, I talk about it all the time, man. It can be so tough to really just uh, um, just empathize with people. It can be tough because. People could, they could be so rude to people can be nasty, downright nasty. And like, trust me, I've seen a lot. Like we've been on here full time, even before we were full time, but we've been on here full time on YouTube since 2018. It's 2021 now. And, and trust me, you'd see some, na people are nasty. They can be downright disgusting. And it's like, you could think like, what? Why are you like this to me? What 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 are you doing this to me for? Why why are you taking it out on me? And you can always tell when people when they got their own stuff going on, especially with how they approach you. Like they like I've I've literally seen everything and heard everything on here. And while that does not compare to what Malik Harrison's situation was, my point in when I say that is that just people people are people man and it's again it's why we try to be as positive as we can um and but yeah with malik harrison i, I just I, I feel for him and we're glad that it, he obviously is okay if he's gonna be back at the crib uh today that's 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 really really good um so how long it's gonna keep him out for i don't know i don't know that's that's a really 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 good question um because who knows? Now, Ravens, their linebacker unit, um, they've already taken enough hits. Of course, LJ Fort, him being out for the year, that's a big one. That's a huge one. 
Um, and that, like, Ravens really felt the pain of that. They felt it really throughout the entire season, big time. Um, of course, Patrick Queen, with him being demoted, um, they he felt that. Ravens felt that. And even when he was before he was demoted, he had been struggling a bit. Uh, then Josh Bynes. Now, Josh Bynes is our Mike linebacker. Um, so he, he's the one that has the most responsibility right now. Some Patrick Queen being alongside of him. Um, and Patrick Queen's been looking better and more comfortable because that's what he did in college. But still, now, now, now who's it going to be? Is it going to be Christian Welch? Chris Board? Probably, probably a lot more Chris Board. Probably see a lot more of him. Um, Maybe some more uh, Anthony Levine, possibly, because you know, like he plays that that safety slash corner slash linebacker role. But I'm sure the the, the Ravens are they're gonna end up compensating uh, for or trying their best to compensate uh, for the loss of uh, Malik Harrison temporarily. Because, um, like I said, this you just I I don't know how long it's gonna take. Um, for him to be back and for him to be all the way back. And, I mean, first you just, before he even thinks about coming back to a football field, you just want to make sure his mentals are right. So you, you just got shot. You got shot. And for somebody that had either never been shot before or not used to being around that, then that could throw them off a lot mentally. So it's important that uh, that, that that's right first and foremost um of course his physical health got to make sure he's good to go um and it just like i said just everything checks out and this this even reminds me of the uh the calvin ridley situation because he said he he said he's taking like almost not temporarily retiring but just taking a step back from football till he can get his mentals right now i'm not sure what's going on with calvin Ridley. i'm sure there's a, a lot more to the story that we just we don't know about at all so something that we, we just we don't under, know about, we don't understand. But again, that's what I always say. Football player or not, rich or not, got all the money in the world or not, well off or not, you never know what people are going through. You don't. So the fact that Calvin really stepped away, it's like, oh, oh, okay. And it's it's not like it's a lack of opportunity. It's not like he's like, oh man, uh, he he's stepping away because he's getting a lack of opportunity on the football field. No, he's their guy. He he he's their guy. So because some people can say, oh well, maybe because it's playing time, maybe he's having a bad season. Maybe because well, then Falcons have been struggling this season, but still, maybe it, you, you don't know. You don't know what he's going through. So he got money. He's a first round pick. He got the money. He got money. He got bread. But people, despite you having bread, it, that don't mean that you ain't gonna have problems. It don't mean that. And then it takes me back to um to, to Brandon Knight, too. The guy who, he is technically a raven. They got his rights, even though I, I, I just, oh, I hate that term, that they have his rights. But that's what it is. He's, he's a raven. But um, even with him, he said that, again, the Cowboys cut him. They hoping that they could bring him back, have him on their practice squad. But Ravens put in a claim for him, and with that claim, then he ends up being a Raven. He was going to go to the active roster as a tackle, but he ended up, no. He, he said, no, I got I to gotta step away from the game for my mental. And it was, it was very strange, and the timing of it was like, huh? But you got to respect it. So back to Malik, that's why I say it's very, very important that that gets taken care of. And he'll be back on the field. We know he's going to be back on the field sometime this year. Uh, he'll probably go on the um, the non football injury, non football injury related. I forgot it. Is it NIR list? Yeah, non, no NFI, non football injury list. There it goes. He'll probably go on the NFI list, uh, whether it be today or tomorrow, um, and that that'll be that. So and he'll be out temporarily again. How long it'll be? No clue. But uh, the fact that he's still here with us. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing because the situation could have been a lot worse. Then it reminds me of Jimmy Smith. Jimmy Smith at the airport where he said he got held up. It's like, man, like, it's just, ah, man, just a mess. Just a mess. 
So hopefully, I I mean, I didn't hear about anybody else in, in this situation or in the area, anything getting hurt or anybody, nothing. And hopefully this is it. Hopefully this is the last of it. And no more news comes from this situation in regards to anybody who was around the area, in the vicinity, anything like that. Because that's, that's some scary stuff, man. That's, that's some scary stuff. Um, but we just, we, we glad that he's all right, man. Glad that he's all right. So hopefully all y'all are doing all right. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And remember, uh, again, you, you never know what somebody's going through. Never. You never do. And again, it's hard. It's very, very tough. But let's, let's all try to be good to people. It is one of the hardest things in the world to do. Like I said, when, when people are nice to you, oh, it's easy. It's easy. When people are nice to you, oh, yeah, it's easy to be good to them, be nice to them, be friendly and all that. But when they're not, that's the real challenge. Uh, so, Team Keep It Clean, I appreciate all of y'all, man. Appreciate y'all vibe. Appreciate this whole little, just the energy of this whole little community or whatnot. Um... It's been good, man. It's, 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 I appreciate it a lot, man. The fact that so many different people could come through here. We could all have conversations or whatnot. We could teach each other stuff about football and about this and about that. I appreciate that a whole lot, man. For real. So, y'all stay up. Keep your heads up. And I'm out.